there's a lot of g-force numbers thrown around with these high-end vibration machines but how do you actually know what you're getting because none of these machines uh, except for mine are showing you accelerometer measurements uh, taken on the platform when someone's standing on it well I've actually experienced this machine and I can tell you this one is about 5% less intense than this one and I designed vibration to be about 5% more intense than than this one and the reason all these high-end machines are around that 6 G's limit is well it turns out the human body just doesn't like anything over 7 G's uh, I experimented with prototypes and I got up to around 8 G's and that is that is not pleasant at all which is why I insist that if you weigh much less than 150 pounds you should use you know rubber flip-flops or you can just stand on a, a thin pad like this right and that sh that should reduce the vibration you feel you know back into that 6 G's range in a lot of these advertisements uh, people are wearing sneakers like basically a one inch thick piece of rubber between you and the platform that really doesn't make any sense you're not going to feel much of any vibration with that much rubber between you so I don't know why they do that another thing about a lot of these vibe machines in advertisements they show random goofy positions like sitting on the machine or you know doing one leg lunges like they're they're trying to find some activity to make the machine useful right if you've spent 1500 bucks on you know a fancy machine and you're not feeling much benefit you're gonna try to find other things to do with it to make it useful but the reality is if the intensity is enough it's so extremely relaxing you won't need any other positions just stand up straight focus the vibration in different parts of your body and then after that you do strength training so anything you can do with dumbbells or free weights that's what you do on the machine no sitting down no push-ups at some point in one of these videos Dave has like a, a foam roller he's leaning on it's just so ridiculous you don't need any of that you're gonna be so impressed by how relaxing the intensity makes you feel and how much pump you get while standing straight up and lifting weights so how do I personally use the machine uh, 50 percent of the time total relaxation mode another half of the time I've got you know dumbbells 25 pounds whatever just doing various uh, workout type stuff anything you can do standing up with weights you can do this on the machine you're just gonna stand in one position like this the whole time whether you're stretching or doing squats or you know doing whatever arm exercises with free weights your feet are pretty much locked in this position but in the video I'm moving around on it a lot and I even you know jump around a bit so you can see the metal bending it's indestructible but that's the only reason I'm doing that just to give you a feeling of the the machine itself now toward the end of the session light will start blinking uh, in the last 20 seconds or so if you want to keep going just hit one of these buttons again this is two minutes five minutes ten minutes fifteen so when I bought one of these machines years ago I was immediately addicted to how relaxing it makes you feel. If it wasn't for that, I would have packaged this thing up and dumped it on eBay, you know, three or six months later. And I thought I could make uh, a better looking machine. You see, when, it, when you pay 1500 bucks for something, you open the box and you see a, a control unit like this that looks like it came from Radio Shack or, you know, some project box you buy at Home Depot. It's pretty disappointing. So I've done something that looks like it belongs in, you know, a high quality yoga studio or, you know, just among other gym equipment. But I can, I can spend more money on high quality materials and deliver the product to you at a lower cost because I'm not spending money on advertising. Every time somebody clicks one of these links, 
bulletproof or whatever company has to pay you know 75 cents or a dollar per click so if it takes two or three hundred people visiting this site for one person to buy it that co that cost has to be passed on to you I'm trying not to do that so I can bring the machine to you at a more reasonable price with higher quality and much much better looking so that's about it please like this video on YouTube subscribe and leave me some comments questions on the, on the YouTube page